The whole world is waiting to sing this song of Shabbos. The whole world is waiting to sing this song of Shabbos. Ceremonies and rituals are important parts of what it means to be human. This is true not only for religious people, but even secular people naturally form their traditions and rites, whether they involve uh, sports or politics or secular holidays. These ceremonies are like guideposts in our lives. They give a, us a sense of community and identity and continuity. How important it is then for us in Messianic Judaism to engage in ceremonies that are literally thousands of years old, that help guide our children on the paths of purity and godliness and teach them who they are as Messianic Jews and Messianic Gentiles, children of the God of Israel. The more beautiful the ceremony and the more senses that it engages, the more profound effect it will have on us, young and old alike, and the more it will endear us to the holy things that it represents. At the end of the Sabbath, Jews all over the world observe a custom called Havdalah. Havdalah means separation or distinction. This ceremony marks the end of the Sabbath and the beginning of the first day of the week. The Torah instructs us to set apart the Sabbath day as holy. Separation is the essence of holiness. At the onset of the Sabbath, we mark it by the lighting of candles and by reciting Kiddush. Likewise, when the Sabbath ends, we do not just let it fade into the mundane week, but we end it with a beautiful ceremony. This ceremony, which can be held at home or at a synagogue or anywhere, is composed of several elements, wine, spices for smelling, and a special braided candle with multiple wicks. Perform Havdalah, we fill a cup of wine and light the special candle. It's common to dim or turn off the lights during the ceremony so that the candle produces a strong effect. The person who is leading the ceremony holds the cup and recites the blessings, a string of biblical passages that encourage us to trust in God and not fear. Then the leader recites a blessing over the spices and they are passed around for each person to smell. The Sabbath is full of sweetness, and the sweet spices also symbolize our hope that the sweetness of the Sabbath carries into the week. We want the holiness and the blessing and the new things that we learn not to stay bottled up on the Sabbath, but to infuse the rest of the week with holiness. Next, the leader recites a blessing over the firelight. Just as our first weekday activity is the kindling of a flame, the creation of light was the first act of creation recorded in the book of Genesis when God said, let there be light. This light of creation is not merely light as we know it, it is the light of the knowledge of the glory of God which shines in the face of Yeshua, our Messiah, the light of the world. The final blessing notes the distinctions God made in his world, including the distinction between normal life and holiness, between the six weekdays and the Holy Sabbath. In many communities, it's customary to prolong the Havdalah ceremony with readings, prayers, and songs. Often these songs reflect the hope of the coming of the Messiah. After all, Jewish tradition holds that the Messiah will not come on the Sabbath, since he has plenty of work to do. So once the week begins, we renew our hope that we will see him at any moment. The Havdalah ritual is such a beautiful experience it engages our eyes, our ears, our nose, and our mouth as we partake of all its symbols. Sensory experiences like this will remain in the hearts of our children for their whole lives.
Join with the Jewish community across the world and across numerous generations. When the Sabbath daylight fades and the first day of the week dawns, I encourage you to mark the Sabbath day with distinction and the new week with light, joy, gladness, and honor with the Havdalah ceremony. Shabbat Shalom and Shavua Tov. Have a good week. Oh.